first we're going to start with your supplies. Um, first thing you'll need is your fetal pig dissection manual, which is right here. You have an example of the Um, next thing, you will need supplies inside of your dissection tray. First, you have your ruler. You have a dropper. Um, scissors, one or two pairs. A probe. Forceps. Dissecting pin, rubber band, and a scaffold holder. The scaffold holder needs a blade attached to it. You can attach the blades by sliding them into place on the scaffold holder. And you'll know that it's in place when it clicks. First thing you need to do is uh, go ahead and drain your pig, cut it out of its pouch, and drain it over the sink so that the formaldehyde and, and uh, preservative fluid goes down. Rinse your pig off with water so that the smell in the syringe doesn't get too terrible. Pat the pig dry. You don't want a big old mess in your dissecting tray. First thing you need to know about the pig is the different areas of the pig. We're going to be referring to the pig's front side or the belly side as the ventral area. Okay. The opposite, which would be the back side, will be the dorsal. That's the backbone side. Um, the anterior is towards the head, and posterior is towards the rear end. Okay. Um, first, we're going to determine the sex of our pig. To determine the sex, if it's male or female, locate an opening just ventral to the tail. This is the anus. Look for another tiny opening ventral to the anus. If present, you have a female. If not, locate the umbilical cord. Then look for a tiny pinhole opening anterior to the umbilical cord. This is the urogenital opening of a male pig. Do you have a male or a female? Here we have a female. We're going to he go ahead and uh, secure our pig down. We place our fetal pig in the dissecting pan ventral side up. Here we're using pins to spread eagle the pig so that it's not in our way and its limbs are facing out. You can also use rubber bands to hog tie it. To use either scissors or a scalpel to cut through the skin and the muscles according to our diagram. Do not remove the umbilical cord. In the first section, We'll only examine the abdominal cavity.
muscle to the side so that the internal organs are visible. Your pig may be filled with water and preservatives. Drain it over the sink if it's necessary to rinse the organs. Look at the digestive, sy the digestive system. Each of the following organs below you will need to locate and check off as you go. Um, first we're going to be looking for the diaphragm. The diaphragm is the muscle that divides the thoracic and abdominal cavity and is located near the rib cage. Um, the, di the diaphragm aids in breathing. Breathe that is lobed and is the largest organ of the body. The liver is responsible for making bile for digestion. The gallbladder. The gallbladder is the greenest organ that's located underneath the liver. I think right there is your gallbladder. Okay, the gallbladder stores bile and it sends it to the duodenum via the bile duct. Um, next, the stomach. Digested food. Any undigested food is stored in the rectum as feces. 